If you are looking for a unique and creative daytime activity to do in Charleston, South Carolina, today is your lucky day because I've got like 30 something ideas and I'm about to list them off right now. Yes, I am reading from a list, deal with it. First and foremost, Diva Dance Class, Diva Dance Party, check it out, it's awesome. You could go on a bicycle ride or a bicycle tour of downtown Charleston. You could do a walking history or pub tour or ghost tour, or you can learn about Charleston's scandalous past. There's so many things you can learn in a tour form. There's carriage rides too, those are all right, but definitely learn some history, drink some drinks and walk around town. You could charter a boat, definitely do that. Sailboats, yachts, motorboats, party boats, John boats, fishing boats, all the things we've got them. You should definitely look into that. One of my favorite things to do in Charleston. Let's see here. What else we got? Um, check out the Airbnb experiences. They have a long list of experiences that are offered by locals. One of the most popular ones is to go crabbing with what's her name. Eh, okay. I don't know, but She's really famous. <laughs> um, but yeah, lots of great experiences. I do bike tours downtown and support locals. Check out the experiences. Um, Shim Creek. Shim Creek is a really sweet spot. It's in Mount Pleasant. It's this cute little creek with all these restaurants and bars lined up along it, as well as kayaks and paddle boards and all these little adventures that you can hop on right from there. So check out Shim Creek, sunsets, drinks, happy hour brunch yes sir um next uh go hydroboarding hydro i don't know hydrofly charleston i think is the name <laughs> i'll link to all these things below or on my website bakermanning.com but it's a lot of fun check it out um you could do a walking tour or a biking tour <laughs> i already said that um let's see a cooking class we have a lot of delicious soul food, Southern cuisine, learn how to make it. Um, I think you can have them even come to you or you could go to them. <laughs> um, let's see, next, a cocktail class. Hmm. Why not? And you could do a scavenger hunt. I have a couple scavenger hunts on my website. I also have some photo challenges. Um, check them out, they're a lot of fun. You could obviously visit the historic landmarks. They're everywhere. You actually, it'd be really hard not to, but that is something you can do. But there's some more creative ones in lieu of this list, like the angel tree, angel, angel oak tree. <laughs> it's really cool. There are some really sweet plantations on the outside, you know, of downtown and there's, you know, just lots of history. <laughs> um, let's see, where are we at on this little list here? The aquarium. We have a pretty sweet aquarium. Great for rainy days and uh, children who love, you know, fish and whatnot and just adults too. Go to the aquarium. Um, party bus. Rent a party bus. That's always fun. Um, you can either go on one of the tours that they've created or you can make your own. Um, Craft of Travel is a great company for that. Um, next on the list, you could do the salt water cycle. Um, that's a sweet little boat where you pedal yourself around <laughs> with your group. And then, uh, oh, you could just hug or climb trees. There's a lot of really cool old trees in Charleston and I think that they're totally worth hugging, climbing, strap some hammocks and just hang out with them. They're beautiful. They've seen a lot of things. They're just, you know, wise or whatever. Um, next, hang out. That must be the hammock part of the climbing trees. <laughs> um, you could go on a little spa -a day, do spa activities. You could get pedicures, manicures, all with your friends. You could get massages, just get super bougie, fancy, and rubbed on and indulge in all the finer things in life. Um, you could also um, go to the blow dry bar and I'll get blowouts which obviously I have not done. Um, have someone do your makeup, get all glammed up and hit the town. Uh, some other fun things. Golf. We have lots of golf courses around here. Um, definitely gotta check out, make sure that they are not the private ones, but they're still cool. And if you don't like golfing ladies, you could do bar golf. <laughs> check out my website, wakeandmake.com for that. 
Um, so next on my list is you could take an art class or a candle making workshop, or there's lots of like crafty artsy classes and workshops that you can do. Um, you could also go boat camping. That is a fun one only in the fall or winter, it's way too hot in the summertime, but there is a sweet spot. I don't know if I can tell you the name of it, but you can boat there and you can camp there and it's beautiful and it's awesome and it's fun and it's creative and it's unique. Another idea is to have a theme day. Go on a themed bike ride or have a little ladies night or gentlemen's night at your Airbnb. Get all decked out, decorate, and you know, themes are just fun. Do it. Um, let's see, there is a ropes course. I haven't done it, but I bet it's fun. <laughs> um, I have friends who have done it and they said that it is indeed fun. So do that or check it out. Um, another thing I haven't done but I really want to is to rent scooters. I would really only ride them at the beach, maybe downtown, but also I would only do it if you have experience riding scooters. Um, I'm not talking about the little stand-up ones, I'm talking about the scoopies. So anyways, maybe that's a good idea, maybe not, but it's, it's an option. <laughs> Um, there is a big old indoor trampoline park. Can't remember the name of it, but if you just type in big old indoor trampoline park, Charleston, South Carolina, you'll find it. It's somewhere in Mount Pleasant. That sounds like a lot of fun. Um, let's see there. Oh yeah, you should totally rent a golf cart at the beach. Bali Beach, my favorite beach, but you can rent them at any of the beaches. Best way to explore, get around. It's got built-in shade and the breeze is free. <laughs> um, you could go paintballing. I am pretty sure the paintball place is still open. It was last year. I know it's really popular for like bachelor parties and guys, but I've actually had um, one or two bachelorette parties who have done that as well. We have a shooting range um, for the people who are like to shoot guns. <laughs> um, there's also a really sweet spot called Trophy Lakes for water sports. You can do slalom skiing. Um, they have a wakeboard park. Well, it's like, yeah, wakeboard cable park or whatever. So I guess it can be skis or a wakeboard, but you could also have them pull you on a boat and go wakeboarding. And there's a disc golf course there. Um, in John's Island. It's really cool. And if you like water sports, I think you would like Trophy Lakes. Um, you could go gigging. <laughs> Another thing I haven't done, but lots of friends who have done it. Um, if you don't know what gigging is, look it up. It's pretty hilarious and definitely could be added to your list of creative and unconventional things to do. As well as um, go do a low country boil or an oyster roast. It's a very Charleston thing to do, um, kind of a seasonal. Low country boil, you can do anytime. Oyster roast, I think only in months that end in R or something like that. Um, but either way, definitely add that to your list if you've never done it. And um, there's a thing called the Rage Room here that is really popular thing to do that I once again have not done but heard is cool. There's also a um, one of those, I think mystery rooms or something. <laughs> So look into that. And if you want to do something active and for whatever reason you don't want to do a diva dance party, there are some other great options. You could do a yoga class, a bar class. In fact, you could do the whole class pass, classpass.com. Check out my link below. That is this amazing app that kind of gets you into all the local classes. Just check it out. You could go rollerblading. Rollerblading is awesome. There is endless beach games that you can play. Paddleboard, bocce ball, volleyball, uh, beach stuff, there's lots. You could just literally spend the whole day at the beach and play games. <laughs> you could go shark tooth hunting. You could build an amazing sand castle. You could go ghost crabbing. That is so fun. At nighttime, um, you bring a bunch of flashlights and some buckets and we use towels, but you can see these little ghost crabs running from like a mile away and you go and you catch them. Then you throw them in your bucket, 
with a towel. That's what we did. Somebody said that's like cheating, but I don't even see whatever. It's not cheating. It's like however we're resourceful. So you catch the crabs, put them in that bucket. And when you're young, it's, it's just fun anyway. And then the next day, you let them all out on the beach in the middle of a bunch of people and they scurry just like the crabs. It's pretty fun. <laughs> you could paint the boat on the way out to Folly Beach or you could tag your name on the walk of love on the way out to the Folly Beach lighthouse. You could do a river float. That's another really fun activity. Obviously you just float down the river. <laughs> Did I mention Diva Dance Party? Because if I didn't, it's definitely probably the best option. Lots of fun. Diva Dance Parties, Charleston, look it up. You could go on a kayaking or stand up paddleboarding safari. You can check out all the dolphins at sunset. You could even go shooting star hunting. One of my favorite things to do. You could do a uh, vodka or liquor tasting at the Firefly Distillery, the OG Sweet Tea Vodka creators. Um, we have lots of breweries you can try and distilleries and we even have a winery. I might have already mentioned that. Check out the winery. Besides that we have some really cool rooftop bars and then obviously lots of great restaurants so put some south in your mouth is definitely on that list. Brunch, barbecue, um, seafood, boiled peanuts, pimento cheese. There's lots of food that you need to try. And did I mention the beach? I think I should have, but if I didn't, then obviously you need to go to the beach. You can watch live music at the Charleston Poorhouse or the Commodore is another great spot. You could go to the farmer's market at the Poorhouse on Sundays and they have a farmer's market and really fun funk music, Motown jams, and a brunch. You could learn how to do the Charleston dance. Hit me up if you're interested in that. So there you have it. I am Baker Manning and that was 30 something ish unconventional creative things to do in Charleston, South Kakalaki. Whether you are coming for vacation or you live here and take a little staycation, hopefully you will enjoy something on that list. If not, good luck in life. <laughs> For my best Charleston travel content, check out my website, bakermanning.com. I write lots of guides and resources for groups traveling to Charleston who like adventure and partying. So check it out and holla at your girl. Mm -hmm.